Hey everybody, it's Roadblock. Welcome back to the Defense Channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Belknap class guided missile cruisers. The Belknap class was a class of nine guided missile cruisers built in the early 1960s for the United States Navy. Originally designated as destroyer leaders, following the 1975 fleet realignment, the ships were reclassified as guided missile cruisers. The shipyards that built these vessels included Bath Ironworks, Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, San Francisco Naval Shipyard, and Todd Shipyard of San Pedro. The ships in the class were the USS Belknap, the USS Josephus Daniels, USS Wainwright, USS Jewett, USS Horn, USS Sterrett, USS William H. Stanley, USS Fox, and USS Biddle. With the first ship commissioned in 1964, the last Belknap class cruiser was decommissioned in 1995. The Belknap class ships were 547 feet long and displaced 7,930 tons. Propulsion was supplied by four boilers and two steam turbines, and the ships had a top speed of 32 knots. Each ship carried a complement of 27 officers and 450 enlisted men. They were known as single-ended cruisers due to the ships only having missile armaments mounted forward as opposed to both forward and aft. The Belknap class cruisers were equipped with the most modern electrical radars and sensors for the time period. These included the ANSPS-10 surface search radar, which is a two-dimensional system developed by Raytheon for tracking surface targets, the ANSPS-48 air search radar, which is a three-dimensional air search radar that preceded the AN-SPY-1 radar systems developed at the end of the Cold War. The ANSPS-49 is a two-dimensional long-range air search radar built by Raytheon that can provide contact bearing and range. And the ANSPG-55 is a tracking illumination fire control radar for the Terrier and RIM-67 standard missiles with a range of 150 nautical miles. Originally, the ships of the Belknap class were built with a twin-rail RIM-2 Terrier Mark 10 missile launcher mounted forward and a single 5-inch Mark 42 gun mounted aft. There were also two twin 50 caliber mounts for anti-air and perimeter defense. In the early 1980s, the Terrier missiles were replaced with RIM-67 standard missiles. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, the smaller guns were replaced with two four-cell Harpoon surface-to-surface -surface missile launchers and two Phalanx SeaWiz systems were installed. The final configuration of the armament for the class was... One Mark 10 Mod 7 guided missile launching system with 40 SM-2 ER standard missiles. 20 RUR-5 ASROC anti-submarine missiles. Two Harpoon missile launchers. Two Mark 46 torpedo launchers. One 5-inch Mark 42 gun and two Phalanx SeaWiz cannons. These ships were multi-mission surface combatants capable of supporting aircraft carrier or battleship battle groups, amphibious forces, or of operating independently as flagships of their own surface action groups. The primary mission of the Belknap class was to provide anti-air and surface defense for aircraft carrier task forces. During the new threat upgrade overhaul, all spaces were renovated, berthing and food service areas were refurbished, and the engineering plant was fully overhauled. Although the Belknap class cruisers had only recently acquired these new capabilities, they were retired in the early 1990s after roughly 30 years of service. I want to thank you all for watching the Defense Channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.